Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Alan right here. I hope everybody is doing okay today. And as you know, and as you see, today is my day number six on exploring niche. Uh, what I've been doing these past days, I've been giving my first impression on uh, a bunch of samples I get of niche fragrances. And I've been doing some bong number nine, uh, Healy. And well, this time I'm gonna do, as you see, the review, uh, a very good one. A very nice one and uh, it will be on the house of Garland and the fragrances you see the title Spiritus double vanilla I got this beautiful decanter right here that I got from Dang Mish and as you know as you see uh, I've been sampling all this fragrance and today it was a real nice and sweet day uh, this fragrance is considered an oriental, but I could say it's also gourmand because uh, to me, to my taste, uh, it was just beautiful sweetness on this one. Beautiful sweetness and spiciness. And I find out I love uh, a sweet, a spicy fragrances. Uh, you know, uh, my signature scent is DHI. I also like a lot uh, Valentino Uomo with which is in the same way as uh, DHI since it's the same uh, person who create both but on this one on this one uh, well the it was created from Jean Paul Gorlain and it was launched to the market on 2007 the top notes uh, for this one are pink pepper bergamot and incense the middle notes are elang elang cedar bulgarian rose and jasmine Base notes are uh, Benson and Vanilla. What I get on this one is the Vanilla going on all day long. Well, for any reason, or for that reason, it's called Double Vanilla. Uh, but when in the first, the first I I applied on my skin, I use it today to go out with my wife and my daughter, and I first apply on my skin. Lord, all that sweetness that I got from this one, it's just like a, wow, it's real nice, really nice. To me, uh, even though uh, I have seen comments that is a little bit feminine since it's unisex, I can feel that, like the little bit feminine side but it's because of the sweetness, it's because of uh, that uh, vibe from the jasmine and the rose and uh, the incense it has but overall the sweetness that the vanilla gives pretty much uh, doesn't make it a feminine or masculine fragrance to me it's just like what it is, unisex this one can be worth for men and women, no matter what. And uh, here I got it after six hours. And what I get, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but because of the benzoin and vanilla mixed together in the drying down, I'm getting a kind of a toffee bite, uh, like a toffee taste to it. And what it reminds me of if it's uh, last uh, Valentine's Day I got from my wife, uh, if you know it, many of you know it, uh, Candy by Prada. And that's what it reminds me of in the drawing down. To me, Candy Prada is not even masculine or feminine. It, sell, it sells uh, like a feminine fragrance, but to me it doesn't have that uh, notes or that vibe like it could be just feminine. To me, a man, if you pull candy by Prada, you can use it. A man can be weirded too, to my taste and to my nose. If I'm wrong or if you uh, don't think the same way, let me know. But the drying down on this one, that's what it reminds me of. It, it gives me kind of the, that toffee vibe, that, that toffee taste to it. It's really nice. But, oh my god, yeah. 
you know, I'm pretty new in this game, so uh, I've been defining what is uh, my fragrance profile. Like I said, uh, my signature scent is DHI, but what I got from this one, the sweetness and the spiciness I got from this one, it's just like top quality. Yeah, overall. That's what it reminds me. It's like a little bit on this one, like a little bit toffee. Well, projection on this one, uh, my nose get uh, used to that one real quick, but my wife is still picking up. Every time I was passing a cross hair or uh, when I we went to we went to eat something and when I get up from the table she said she could feel that vibe that sweetness and vanilla that it gives this fragrance and she enjoyed it a lot I enjoyed it a lot and like I said I've been discovering that sweet and spicy is my more my taste of the fragrance I enjoyed a lot the the that sweet and spiciness of the fragrance and this one was just amazing amazing uh, well, I can say it, longevity about it's six hours already, and I I still picking up pretty nice in my skin if I smell it. My wife is still picking up every time I I came across to her. I just apply a little bit for the opening to enjoy it again, which is doesn't have uh, it doesn't have a lot difference between the opening and the dry down. It's pretty much, uh, I cannot call it linear, the fragrance is not linear because it has changes, but not that much. Like it doesn't turn into something else, the vanilla stays there, it stays there all day long, all the way. I can see this fragrance uh, be wear for a date or special occasions, uh, a party, dressed up, or a big meeting and your job you can use this one to be you know like high quality guy smelling <laughs> something like that and I enjoy it a lot really I enjoy it a lot it could be more useful for a fall and winter than a summer I don't I don't see myself uh, going outside on a very hot day like I did today because today was hot but like you know I've been tasting the fragrances no matter what, no matter what day, no matter what temperature it is, I just been putting on to smell them, to see how they work on me, and to enjoy them. That's pretty much all to enjoy them because I'm doing this because I love fragrances. I enjoy fragrances, like you do, I know. So, 2.5 ounces, fluid ounces, for almost $400. I could say it, it depends on you if you said it worth it or not but the quality has no matter the projection no matter the longevity it's really nice as you see I cannot keep my nose out of this it gives you that sensation that needing that you want you need to smell this and this is my opinion on uh, a spiritus double vanilla so guys if you have a different opinion than mine if you think I'm missing some things to mention on this beautiful fragrance, let me know. Let me know, uh, rate, comment below and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thank you so much to all my subscribers that have been following this uh, exploring niche experience. It's been a really nice experience to me and I apologize in of some of my videos I've been missing some stuff but like I said I, I, I've been living a lot of excitement and that excitement when I came here to the camera to express my excitement to you it made me feel real nervous still but I'm on the way I will go through the nervous thing and then uh, I could give a very nice review on each fragrance I missed, I've been tasting but this is my first impression my opinion on Garland Spiritus Double Vanille thank you guys for being watching this Oh, my lord. And keep on smelling good. See you tomorrow with another video. Keep tuned.